Well, good morning, good morning, guys. It's the last day here in Tennessee. We've had a great time filming Brad and Sam's awesome cars. You guys remember them. If you haven't watched those videos, uh, maybe you remember them from a previous video we did with this car a few years ago, or this truck, rather. Probably one of the baddest trucks on the internet, but Sam also has a really badass F-150. And uh, Sam and I actually got our truck supercharged at the same time back in, what was it, 22, 21? Well, it was uh, 21, late 21. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, September, somewhere yeah, August, yeah. September. Yeah. You guys remember the black F-150 I had that I ended up trading on the TRX. We got the exact same Whipple uh, installed back in 22 at Town & Country Ford down in Alabama. So Sam still has his truck. And uh, he's on what, the third engine? <laughs> Three motors, two transmissions. So I've been a little rough on mine. Uh, it's been a work in progress, but I think we finally got it to that yeah that sweet spot. Um, it's really and it's, it's it's how many horsepower? Eight hundred wheel. It, it can be about eight hundred wheel on E85 with the correct pulley. Today we've got it on E85, but it's the same pulley that you and I have always had. The 3.875. Yeah. I can go down about three more yeah. to a 3.5 pulley and get. A little bit more power out of it, but I think yeah, we'll yeah. find that it's pretty fast as it is. So, so I figured we'd do a video on this truck. I, I feel like it's kind of interesting. Obviously, I don't have mine anymore. This one puts out more power, obviously, and the one that I had, you know, I had the big 20 by 12s on there, 35s. He has a better wheel and tire setup for um, performance. I mean, they're not street tires. So I'm going to take it for a little rip, see how it actually feels in uh, comparison to the one that I used to have. He also has the, what was the color again? Space white. It's space, space white. white. It's yeah, space it looks white. like avalanche. <laughs> He's in the background. Video on the color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does look a lot like avalanche, but it, it does. does have I a love the power. color. Yeah. I, love, I think it looks great. Kind of missed mine a little bit. I don't have a truck on the channel currently except for the Danger Ranger. But uh, Sam's been out and about and he's been spanking everyone. Uh, hence the plate. <laughs> he uh, was able to take a TRX before he even had the, the current power numbers. Um, and th this thing is, it's pretty damn lethal. But oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Before we continue on with today's video, as you all know, in all my cars, I have dash cams. And since I already have dash cams in all of my cars, I decided to give one to Sam because he does not have one. And this is the 70 My A500S. It's the world's most sold dash cam. If you're kind of unsure of what dash cam to get, you've never had one, you don't know much about them, the A500S is the perfect choice. It's front and rear, so you're covered in both directions. It has a 270 degree lens, so you pretty much have no blind spots. It has an IMX 335 sensor that automatically adjusts exposure uh, depending on the lighting. This thing has superior vision during night and bad weather. It has an f 1.8 large aperture which pulls in more light and brightens up in low light scenes. It films in 1944p and Brad is now covered both front and in the rear. It's super easy to install. You hide the cords underneath the uh, headliner. You can't hardly even see that we installed it. You see a little bit of cord there. We can uh, pretty that up later. And then we have the rear camera hiding behind the headrest. You hook it up to your 70 My app and you're good to go. Thanks to 70 My for sponsoring today's video. All right, so back to the video. I always love the interior of uh, mine and Sam has the exact same. Uh, the Lariat's got the two-tone leather, so black and brown. Seats are super comfortable. Infotainment system was great. The only thing I didn't really like was the transmission, that 10 speed. Uh, probably just because it didn't launch as well as the TRX. The TRX transmission, the eight speed was more performance oriented. Another thing that I didn't like at all, which I thought was gonna be really good, was that unleashed sound system. Uh, the Bang & Olufsen with 18 or 19 speakers. It was, I mean, it sucked for as many speakers that it had, it was really bad. And uh, Sam's been a stereo builder for a long time. So this thing bangs now really loud. But what we want to find out is how it drives. All right, man, I feel right at home. Yeah. It's been a while. But... So what exhaust do you have on this? It's Franken exhaust. It's a, it's a what? <laughs> it's Franken exhaust. Of course, the headers and a Y-pop with no cats. After that, it's a Borla um, pre-runner muffler basically it's about this long with stainless steel oh, packing okay. and uh, so it's custom 
to tone down those cats but still sound yeah it sounds good you know you can hear the the blower a little bit too Got it quiet know, enough a, with yeah, the exhaust yeah, to yeah. it's it's loud but not yeah, but mine, super loud. Even when I didn't have like the Borla attack, I, I still didn't hear the blower at all. Yeah. And I know that the wine is more inefficiency, but like I love I love the way that it sounds. I, I had went as far as putting a Foster mods um, blower mod thing on there. Yeah, and it's like a hose off of your intake that yeah. you run into the cab. But that got old. It was too much. Oh yeah, it, it, I, I, I hate that. that. Oh, I was that doing was everything horrible. I could to tone it down. I hated that. Oh thing. my god. Yeah. I had that on my first F one fifty. That oh, yeah. That sucked so bad. Yep. I had taken tape and tried to yeah tape it up with cotton balls and quieten it down. So yeah, and I yeah that's that's one thing I was embarrassed that I even exactly prom promoted to my followers. That's one thing. Yep. I mean that was horrible. But like you know. You drilled through the the freaking firewall and everything to get that damn tube in. Like, you, once it's done, it's done. Done. And then you gotta rip it out and like try to plug it. But I used Flex Seal that's in the that comes in a roll. Yeah. And put one on one side, one on the outside of the firewall. So yeah. it's you know still there's a hole in my floorboard now or <laughs> firewall. <laughs> fast yeah i think she let loose there a little bit the, the transmission like tuning from oz tuning helps a lot too I mean, yeah, it keeps yeah. those gears tight yeah oh yeah it shifts much harder as well than uh my truck did second transmission this one's built and uh we had uh scott richardson yeah. up in pencil pa uh, build it for us it's the same uh, guy that built the one in brad's truck okay so uh Supposed to handle a thousand, a little north of a thousand. Yeah. So. All right, do a little bit yeah. here. Damn. I is way faster fast. than mine was. Way faster. I've ran a, a mid 10 in this thing. Really? Yeah. 1080, 1085, and I've only tried once or twice with it on the new tune, so. It's a mid to second truck. That's crazy yeah. for a big truck like this. That's sitting on it like feels truck tires. Insane. Yeah, and that this this truck feels so more sophisticated versus the Wolf. Like when right. it pulls, it's kind of like the pulls in my Mercedes because it's like a comfortable vehicle. It's right. not as like uh, emotional and crazy exactly. you know, inside because you have sound deadening and stuff. How. Uh, how bad has the fuel economy gotten since you tunnel? Um, on pump gas, it's around 10. <laughs> so on E85, it's around seven and a half. <laughs> so it's not that good. Not that good. Yeah, in the TRX, I would get like eight or nine puffing around town and stuff. Yeah. I'm able to maybe push it up to 13 on a, on a road trip once. It's just you're never going to have good fuel economy in these things. Not at all. That was pretty wild, it. dude. It feels good. I mean, <laughs> I love it. It grabs, chirps those tires. Hell it's, yeah. It's fast. Oh, that's badass. Recording complete. <laughs> See, Dashcam. <laughs> Dashcam uh, thought something was happening, so that was an emergency. Okay. <laughs> I'll hear that a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when the whole vehicle shakes and stuff, the Dashcam kind of freaks out, but it's supposed to do that because it thinks you're in an accident. <laughs> Stuff. I like that. Well, this definitely gave me the feels back for my F-150. Although this one is a better version. It's a lot faster. Better built. 
Even though you, you're on your third engine. <laughs> it's an expensive Practice makes truck. perfect. <laughs> it's an expensive truck. At this point, you could have bought a lot of different vehicles. Yeah. So I got to get on the road, eight hours to get back home. You guys uh, subscribe to Back Road Driver. These Appreciate are you guys awesome dudes, making man. Making this announcement here first. Mike just bought a Raptor R, and he's driving it back home. A Ford F-150 Raptor R. It's going to be on his channel. That Brad is paying for. <laughs> <laughs> just 150K. <laughs> yeah, I wish, dude. I actually had one, uh, almost. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, that's a long story. Anyhow, <laughs> subscribe to Back Road Driver. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.